All right, guys, we're on our way down to check on this uh, uh, Craigslist listing that I saw posted yesterday, and uh, we're gonna go check this stuff out. What the heck is that thing way up there? Can you guys see it? Let me zoom in with my power zoom. Is that a giant pumpkin on the back end of a car? Get out of my way, people! I got important stuff to put on YouTube, damn it! Here we go. What the hell is that? That's that that's like the Oscar Mayer Wiener car, ain't it? Let's see if we can get it turning. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, the things you see in Montana. Okay, so let's pause this for a second. What you're looking at here is my camera sitting on a cinder block. Showing you what I went to go pick up. Those are two shipping containers. Just simply made out of wood. The company that I got them from listed them on Craigslist as being uh, containers that they're trying to get rid of. Well... I was able to get the first one off. See, well, when they first loaded it, they, they used a forklift. And <laughs> when I got home, I realized, you know, it can't be all that bad to get these things off. Well, the first one that you can see in the picture there, that was easy enough to get off. But this second one, which was all the way up towards the front of the trailer, that one is a little different. That one is built a little bit more um, better. There's a lot more wood uh, and dense wood involved in that one. I have tr I tried so many different things to try to get that one off. I tried teeter tottering it. I tried rolling it off. That could I couldn't lift it up high enough to get the thing up over the lip on the trailer. Um, so now I decide to use my. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I decided to use the motorcycle, uh, the trail bike, to hook onto it and uh, try to pull it off. Uh, well, that didn't work out too well either. Now, finally, what actually worked was me going into the shop and getting a long piece of steel and using that as a pry bar to get this dang box off of this thing. But then I was faced with another dilemma. Now that it was off the trailer, I had to try to maneuver it into position next to the other box. You can see by the picture that the uh, underneath these boxes are uh, little two by fours that are that they can that lift the box away from the ground so they can use a forklift underneath it. Well, now I kind of screwed myself. And realize that I can't move this thing. It's too heavy for me to try walking it or rolling it. And I can't put the pry bar underneath it. So, I had to come up with a different solution. Now the reason I showed that clip was one very simple purpose. If you haven't done something redneck, you just haven't gone far enough. Oh God, I just had to go get more. Now to see part two of this video and to find out what the true purpose of these boxes are gonna be for, and to find out some of the other stuff I've been doing around the house here, yeah, click on the link down in the description, go off to my website, watch that video. That's part two.